According to scientists, our Earth is 4.5 billion years old. How did they know that? The answer lies in radioactive decay. The atom consists of a nucleus which is surrounded by electrons, whereas protons and neutrons make up the nucleus. The strong nuclear force binds the nucleus together to maintain its stability. However, the nucleus tends to become unstable as it grows or if it's extremely active. Imagine popcorn kernels as the unstable nuclei and the cooking process as radioactive decay. The kernels do not all pop simultaneously. This is because the decay process is spontaneous and random, and once a kernel has been transformed into popcorn, it will not return to its original form. When a nucleus undergoes radioactive decay, it emits alpha or beta particle or gamma radiation. In alpha decay, the parent nucleus ejects two protons and two neutrons. When an atom's nucleus contains an excessive number of neutrons compared to protons, beta decay occurs. It ejects either electron or positron. When an atom's nucleus is stimulated, gamma decay takes place. It releases a photon which is a particle of light. But nuclear decay is more than just what is being produced. Let's say we have 100 kernels and one tenth will decay in one second. After a second, we have 90 kernels left and it will continue to decay at one tenth per second and so on. Therefore, the rate of radioactive decay is consistent and proportional to the amount of atoms left. The decay constant is the probability of any given nucleus to decay a unit of time. The greater the decay constant is, the faster an isotope will decay. This is similar to the concept of half-life, the time it takes for half of the radioactive nuclei to decay. Isotopes of every radioactive element has their own characteristic half-life. For instance, uranium-238 decays to thorium-234 to alpha decay. After its half-life of 4.5 billion years, half the uranium will become thorium, and after another 4.5 billion years, only a quarter of uranium is left. We can observe that it decreases exponentially in time. The decay of the nucleus is unpredictable. It can happen right now, tomorrow, or in a few thousand years. Though the number of nuclei in a sample that will decay each time may be predicted with accuracy. The Earth's rocks, which contain radioactive elements, provide the answer as to how we can determine the age of the planet. Geologists utilize the process of radioactive decay for radiometric dating, which measures the ratio of the decayed product and remaining parent isotope to calculate the age of the sample using the age equation. Radioactive decay is also utilized in modern technologies, including agriculture, cancer treatment, electricity generation, and space exploration. Keep in mind that the smallest processes pave the way for biggest possibilities.